You guys, guess where we are? We are at Kids Town. Do you guys see the stage behind us? How awesome is this? It's like a, a theater. So I am very excited to come at you today from Kids Town. My name's Becky. I'm the Children's Ministry Director at Covenant Community Church in Vacaville, California. And today we are starting a new five-week series. Um, the series is all about being encouraged. So we can encourage each other to love and obey God and do His work. So we're going to look at some ways in which people work together to create something wonderful. Listen to this. wonderful so what is the same about these different types of musical groups what is the same what did you hear that was similar and what was different I want you to think about that there's similarities and there's differences right some played music faster than others some was only instrumental um, there were different styles of music some of the music had singers so what do the players and the singers need to do to make their music sound good? Because it doesn't just sound good the first time they play, right? They have to work together. They have to follow the music as it's written. And they have to play at the same tempo or speed. And they have to practice with each other, right? They have to work together. But making music is only one way people work together. What are some other ways? To give you a minute to think about it. Hmm. What about soccer players? They work together. They have to pass the ball back and forth to score the goal. It's a team, team sport. They have to work together. What about, ooh, carpenters building a house? They have to work together to put the structure up properly, right? When there's a big job to be done, it's important to encourage each other to do the job. Now, in Bible times, many people had to work together to rebuild the wall that had fallen down around Jericho. People who study the Bible think that Psalm 147 was written for a choir to sing when the wall was built. So I want you to listen as we read Psalm 147. We're just going to read the first five verses. Listen. Psalm 147, verses 1 through 5. Praise the Lord. How good it is to sing praises to our God. How pleasant and fitting to praise him. The Lord builds up Jerusalem. He gathers the exiles of Israel. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. He determines the number of the stars and calls them each by name. Great is our Lord and mighty in power. His understanding has no limit. So Psalm 147 was probably performed by Two choirs, two choirs, made up of people called Levites. And the Levites were people from the tribe of Levi, and they helped the priests in the tabernacle and later in the temple. The first choir walked in one direction along the wall, while the other choir walked in the other direction along the wall. It's pretty neat. And this is actually really explained well in the book of Nehemiah, chapters 12, chapter 12, verses 27 through 31 and verse 38. I want you to listen because I'm going to read this to you. <clears throat> it says, the people dedicated the wall of Jerusalem. They brought all the Levites to Jerusalem. The Levites came from the towns they lived in. They came to Jerusalem to celebrate the dedication of the wall of Jerusalem. 
They came to sing songs and praise and thanks to God. They played their cymbals, harps, and lyres. And all the singers also came to Jerusalem. They came from the towns all around Jerusalem. They came from the town of Nedophah, from Beth Gilgal, Geba, and Asmaveth. The singers had built small towns for themselves in the area around Jerusalem. So the priests and the Levites made themselves pure in a ceremony. Then they also made the people, the gates, and the wall of Jerusalem pure in a ceremony. I told the leaders of Judah to go up and stand on top of the wall. I also chose two large singing groups to give thanks to God. One group was to start going up on top of the wall on the right side toward Ashpile Gate. The second group of singers started out in the other direction to the left and followed them. I followed them as they went up to the top of the wall. Half of the people also followed them. They went past the towers of ovens to the broad wall. That's really cool that someone wrote a song so that everyone could sing it to encourage each other at the wall around Jerusalem. That is really, really neat. God gives us other people to help us and to encourage us to do work. 1 Thessalonians 5.11 says, Encourage one another and build each other up just as, in fact, you are doing. So when we're encouraging other people, we help them to love and obey God. Why is it important to encourage other people? Why does that matter? What do you think? Well, it's a way to follow God's command to love one another, because that's something that God has told us to do. And, and what does it mean to love and obey God and do his work? What do you guys think? It, it means to do the things the Bible commands, such as love each other, give clothes, money, and food to needy people, to say kind words to one another instead of arguing, to pray for others, doing all of those things is being encouraging. What are some things that you could do or say to encourage others this week? Think about that. What is something you could say? Hey mom, thank you for the dinner. It was wonderful. I really appreciate you cooking dinner for me tonight. Or uh, maybe you can encourage a brother or sister. Hey, you're doing a good job with your schoolwork. I know it's kind of tough, but great job. So I'm going to show you our craft, and um, it, in, it is making a pyramid with the words of 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 11. All right, so here's our craft. This is um, 1 Thessalonians 5, 11. And if you read it from top to bottom, it doesn't make any sense. It says, up other each, build and another, one, two, kind, be. But the way we're going to read it is from the bottom to the top, just like you would build a pyramid. And it says this, be kind to one another and build each other up. And what we're going to do is you're going to color each section of the pyramid a different color. And then you're going to cut it out. So you're going to end up with something like this. And then you're also going to have a blank pyramid and it's going to be your job to put everything back in order and we're going to make sure that they fit so we need to find the largest one first which is this one right here so we're going to rub some glue along here and we're going to put our first part of our first right there okay all right, then we're going to find the next one. Be kind. That's it. And then remember it went two, one. So we're going to find the one that has the number two and then the number one. And we're going to keep building. Finishing up. We're going to finish up. I already put glue on these sections. But look at how cool this is. This is such an awesome 
awesome verse to have up in your house, on your refrigerator, on your bathroom mirror, on your bedroom door as a good reminder to be encouraging, to be kind to one another and build each other up because that's what God asks us to do. And then let me pray for us. Dear God, thank you for giving us people who encourage us. Please help us to encourage others to love and obey you and to do your work. We love you. Amen. I'll see you guys next week live from Kidstown.